Okay, in this episode, we've got gummy frogs. The rhino head key holder. Flaming hot peanuts. Potlatch. The Waboba ball. And good mitten. And the votes are in. Make sure to stick around to see if I'm going to be eating stinger pops for 99 seconds or putting ice down my pants. It's kind of a lose-lose. <laughs> Episode 99, as always, subscribe to the email newsletter so you can get money off your next order. Before we jump into things, you gotta check out this really cool video from Gizmo Slip, where he took one of our five pound gummy bears, slid an iPhone into the back, and then dropped it off a hundred foot tall roof. It's nuts, his whole channel is filled with crazy stuff like that, so check that out. All right, let's start out strong. This, these, this, 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 these are the, this is the, the gummy frogs. What I love about these is that you get five pounds. Each frog is dual flavored. So you've got strawberry and grape, blue raspberry and orange. And then in this one, this is actually a sour gummy frog. So they figured out how to infuse the sour into this whole frog without sprinkling the sand on it or whatever. You got sour lemon and sour green apple. This is amazing tasting gummy. So good. Gummy tree frog, get your five pound bag, made in the USA, so good. This is the rhino key holder. You got two components here. You've got the rhino head that stays with your keys and then the trophy base that stays at home. The rhino head is made out of steel. This is a beech wood and a neodymium magnet here. So when you come home, you just, boom, put your keys away. Looks really cool. And mounting this thing is easy because it comes with an adhesive on the back of the trophy case. So that is the Rhino key holder. Flaming hot peanuts. Look at the spice game on that. So these are made here in the USA and they're peanuts, a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of sugar, and then big, huge handfuls of four of the world's hottest peppers are in here. You got ghost pepper, Trinidad scorpion, Maruga scorpion, and Carolina reaper, all in this tiny peanut. It's got some kick to it, but not so much that I don't want another one. It's not too super intense. No way. Yep, I shouldn't have had a third one. <laughs> no, but it's good. They are good, but they're hot. These flaming hot peanuts <clears throat> are also this week's Golden Gummy Challenge, and I need this one because I'm losing by a lot. All right, come on in, Eric. All right. <laughs> I'm feeling this one. Feel the burn? Well, I gotta win this. So this is like a minute to win it style challenge. Right. We each have a straw. We each have a bowl of flaming hot peanuts. Just using the straw, how many can you move into your uh -huh. cup in 99 seconds? It's just, just a race. And the spice may go right through the straw into our <laughs> lungs. That's a, a feature. <laughs> a little, I think a little spice came through. Damn. Oh, it's on my yeah. lips. Thirty-eight total peanuts. How many did you 27. get? Twenty-seven. Ah, and my mouth is on fire. Now um, you gotta eat all the ones I got. <laughs> eat your um. There's no way. There's no way I'm eating all of those. Show everyone. There's how many no way I'm gonna there. be sick all day. Bottoms right. up. That's a lot to take at one time. I, know. I usually just take one. <coughs> oh man. Yep. <coughs> That's too many. I haven't had this little guy in months, I feel like. <laughs> All right. Because spring has sprung, I wanted to uh, highlight some products that might be new to you. This is one of my favorites. It's called the Pot Latch. This little gadget here lets you hang pots basically anywhere. You can see all the different ways that you can mount this thing, either with the included screw or using cable ties or zip ties or Velcro straps. And they can have up to a nine inch diameter and weigh up to 30 pounds. And you just take the pot like this, just slide it in and boom. So that's the pot latch, really cool. This is the Waboba ball. It's a ball that bounces on water. It has a very cool lycra covering, so it'll last a really long time. It'll bounce up to five or six feet off the water. So you just throw it, it 
bounces on water. That's the Waboba ball and it comes in a bunch of colors. Uh, get yours now. Catch! One last thing, the Waboba ball obviously floats, which is necessary for any water toy. Next up is Good Mitten, probably the easiest racket game to play. It comes with two different lengths of birdies. One has long feathers and one has short feathers. The longer one is a little bit easier to use than the shorter one, but they both have the same characteristics. It's really easy to play because of the design of the birdie. So that's Good Mitten. Pick yours up today. To celebrate this being our 99th episode, we asked you guys if you wanted me to suck on a singer pop for 99 seconds or put these giant ice cubes down my pants for 99 seconds. You guys chose the ice cubes overwhelmingly, so uh, I'm gonna shove these down my pants. <gasps> Have we started the timer? Okay, good. Can you get frostbite in under 99 seconds? Is this the floor one? Oh, mm. heat my body up, it'll help melt the pressure. No, that's making it worse. <laughs> it's over, get him out. Oh, frosticles, right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Next episode is gonna be our 100th. And we're gonna have some fun new confections in that episode. So we need your help to decide, should we have Danny or Joey play Chauncey in that episode? For those of you who aren't aware, it's actually Eric playing Chauncey. So in this special episode, we thought it would be a lot of fun to have one of our other That19 YouTubers play the role of Chauncey. So vote for Joey or Danny to play Chauncey. Fan art. Thank you, that was some great fan art, loved it. If you want to send us something and see it displayed in awesome time, here's the address right here to send your fan art. Let's wrap this episode up. Make sure to check out these videos around me. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter so you can get the discount. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. Follow us on social media, that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Vine, Pinterest, Google+, and Snapchat. And one last thing, uh, make sure to start checking this out on Periscope. Every Friday afternoon, you can hang out with our writers. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.